Rockford University basketball is just underway this season, and with the help of one of the senior classes, the community was welcomed out for a Christmas-themed doubleheader. It was the first annual Pack the Shed event. Fans, as you can see, were invited out to get in the Christmas spirit. All the ugly sweaters out there. There was trivia, raffles, giveaways, and a canned food drive with donations going to the Rock River Food Pantry. My guy Brett Myers out there on the mic in the Christmas spirit. Tons of fun out there. And boy, it was a great day to give the fans an opportunity to see some good basketball. So let's start with a good finish between the Lady Regents and Concordia, Wisconsin. Lady Regents late in the game. Katie Paredes working down low. She gets the basket to fall. We're all tied up at 35 later in the game. Former Belvedere Lady Buck Lexi Keating hits a big three from the corner. She's fired up. RU goes up three. It's Tyra Clark now. She works inside. Can't get the first shot to go, but she gets her own rebound and throws it up over her head. Goes in. RU looking to fight back in this one. They're fighting hard. Clark well, she was going hard in this one. Off the pass, goes up, draws the foul. RU went up by two, but it's the Lady Falcons. They get it inside the bucket and the foul. CUW goes up by one. You see the clock, RU with one last chance, and it's Jocelyn Callahan, but her shot is blocked. CUW hangs on to win a close one over the Lady Regents. 54-50 to 50 is your final. And the men's, they got the second leg of the doubleheader. They took on Milwaukee School of Engineering in this one. Early on, it's Seth Childers with a nice dish to Micah Swanson. He lays it home. RU takes the 2-0 lead early. It's Childers again. This time, he finds Nudie Lacey up top, and he buries the three. The Regents going on a run early in this one. Lacey going to lay this one up off the steal, and RU keeps their run going. Mateo Fernandez Solari has some trouble handling this one, but he gets it off to Matthew Elliott. He knocks down the triple. The Regents win a close one in overtime, 95-90 the final.